Uh, I'll do the first in Portuguese, and then I switch to English, and uh, we'll solve all those things like that. Em primeiro lugar, uh, bem-vindo a todos. Portanto, nós temos gente ainda que está, que está a entrar, ok? Um, nós estamos a fazer isto, nós estamos, portanto, estamos aqui na, nesta sala do Zoom, onde todas as pessoas que estiverem na sala do Zoom podem colocar questões, intervir, enfim. Um, depois estamos a, realmente a, a, ao vivo e a cores, por assim dizer, a, para vários canais de, 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 a nível do, 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 do Facebook, ok? A única situação que aqui vai acontecer é que uh, eu não consigo estar uh, a ver todas as perguntas que são colocadas através do Facebook e, portanto, realmente, para quem quiser participar e colocar as sugestões, tem que entrar aqui dentro da sala e, e realmente, eu vou, eu vou uh, aprovar. Okay? Eu vou tirar neste momento aqui o som porque há, há vários sons de, de fundo e, portanto, um, vou tirando. Quem quiser depois, entretanto, falar, é só uma questão de colocar aí a, a, a mão no ar. Ok? Portanto, muito bem, deixa-me só ver se isto realmente, sim senhor, neste momento já me devem estar então aqui a vir, vou só aqui colocar uh, então ou pedir ao Paulo para ativar o som, e, ok, agora deixa-me só aqui um pouco, portanto, uh, Paulo Acanti, uh, uh, if you want to activate your sound, please. Ok, and then Mark, also, if you okay. want to activate can, can you your hear me? sound. Yep, yep, we can okay. hear. Ok, Mark, ok. So, uh, então, como é que, em primeiro lugar, bem-vindo a todos, como eu já vos tinha dito, ok, nós vamos fazer então a apresentação desta nova uh, linha da Mars Passion. Um, o que é que há de novo uh, dentro aqui da situação da Mars e no desenvolvimento da linha realmente destinada à parte do free diving, e na parte também para a parte do spare fishing. Nós, durante algum tempo, tivemos falta realmente de uma pessoa que conseguisse juntar duas coisas, duas componentes, que é a componente técnica e a componente de engenharia para desenvolver novos produtos, e penso que neste momento conseguimos encontrar isso com o Paulo Acanti. Ele vai se apresentar, portanto, é um atleta, é um instrutor da parte de apneia, freediving, é fez parte da seleção, ou faz parte da seleção italiana também de, 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 de pesca e, portanto, tem muitos anos disto e, ao mesmo tempo, é um engenheiro. E, portanto, juntou-se aqui realmente as duas situações, mas o Paulo irá realmente apresentar-se. Está também aqui nesta sala o, o Marco, o Marco Maioral, que vocês muitos já conhecem, portanto, ele é, ele é um, o, o, o Mars Business Manager para, para a Espanha e para Portugal, ok? E um, está também aqui na nossa, na, nesta sala o nosso colega, o, o Roberto, Roberto Asferto, ok? Isto porquê? Porque uh, nós, dentro da nossa equipa uh, ibérica, cada um tem as suas valias, ok? Uns, uns são mais, conhecem mais uma, uma determinada área de negócios, outra área de negócios, e realmente aqui a pessoa que é, que é mais técnica dentro da área uh, de, da apneia e dentro da área realmente do spare fishing, da caça, é realmente aqui o, o Roberto, ainda por cima também tem a Zona Norte, a Zona da Galiza, e sabe também como o, o, o mar é basicamente o mesmo, a, as necessidades que nós temos. E, portanto, se eu houver aqui uma necessidade, também vou recorrer aqui a, ao apoio do, do, do Roberto. Ele fala a, em, em castelhano, mas fala devagarinho, e, portanto, nós também entendemos, porque, como vocês sabem, nós todos temos uma mais-valia, é conseguimos falar um portunhol perfeito, ok? Um, e basicamente é, é esta situação. Okay? Antes de realmente começarmos, eu vou fazer esta parte só aqui em inglês, muito rapidamente, para que toda a gente aqui o entenda. Uh, so, welcome to every, everybody, ok? So, uh, we'll do this presentation. And um, why we do are doing this presentation? Because, uh, you know, for a while, we didn't add um, someone that can join uh, two important things that are the technical part with engineering. So I, I know, from what I know, I think this is possible because our uh, new uh, product line manager, that is Paul, can join both, both, both things. He is a, a, a freediving instructor, so an athlete because he, I think he uh, belonged to the, the, the Italian team for spearfishing and so on. 
So it's <laughs> and also it's engineer engineer. So it was possible to join the both things. But I think he will present uh, himself. Okay. We also have it here. We also have it here. Mark, uh, as you know, most of you is is a, a Maris business manager for uh, Portugal and Spain. And uh, Mark, if you want to say something, uh, is now that you can say even hola. <laughs> Uh, bueno, bienvenidos a todos. Yo creo, gracias por estar aquí, creo que lo más importante sería, creo que dar paso a, a, a Paolo también, porque es el, la parte más interesante de, de la reunión, creo, uh, esta tarde. Ok. Uh, just, uh, um, <coughs> só, só una cosa que yo quería decir, es así, uh, todas las cuestiones que tuvieran que colocar, de preferencia, si pudieran colocar por chat, sí, señora, vamos a colocar por chat, yo voy a intentar responder, ok? No entanto, se houver alguma dificuldade naquilo que querem dizer para o chat, coloquem a mão no ar e a partir daí nós passamos a palavra. Uh, just for, uh, if you, uh, if you possible, place your questions by chat, ok? Uh, if there are any, any difficulty to, to place it by chat, uh, please uh, raise your hand and I give you the, the, the mic, ok? And now I can pass the, all the, the control to you, Paolo. You are okay, thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I regret not to be with you in person uh, today, but uh, I'm confident in the future uh, we will be able to meet face to face again, uh, depending on the COVID situation, uh, unfortunately. Uh, my name is Paolo Acanti. I'm 46 uh, uh, years old. Uh, I worked for 20 years uh, in the military sector for the mechanica, also in, uh, in Portugal, because of, uh, you have a lot of NATO agency base uh, near uh, Lisbon and Ericeira. And I spend, uh, spent a lot of time in uh, Portugal for my holidays. I love Portugal, uh, Zambujeira in particular. And uh, during the 20 years uh, in the military sector as a trainer and training manager, Uh, at the same time, uh, I cultivated my passion for uh, free diving, uh, diving, uh, and spearfishing. Uh, I have uh, inherited the, the passion for spearfishing from my father, uh, who also was a spearfisher, and um, my first gun was a uh, uh, MRS. Uh, I stole it from, uh, from him. Uh, I've been a free diving and spearfishing instructor since uh, 2002. And uh, furthermore, uh, I am also a scuba diving instructor, but uh, my passion is uh, free diving and sport fishing, so uh, I don't do too much dive uh, during the year. Uh, so, free diving and sport fishing are, uh, uh, is among my deepest passion. Uh, in fact, I was a member to the Italian national team uh, in free diving, national team, uh, from 2002 to 2005. And uh, I've been uh, managing uh, since 2002, the, one of the largest school, uh, free diving school in Italy. So uh, over the years, I organized a lot of uh, uh, events and participated in many events uh, and competition. So I cooperated with a lot of uh, supplier company, uh, at first with Salvimar as a, an athlete and a tester for many years, uh, and later with Crassi Sub. Uh, as a tester and a developer of uh, new products uh, and uh, as a side job, obviously. Uh, so I've spent all of my life uh, uh, modifying uh, equipment uh, and uh, destroying equipment. And uh, now I can do full time uh, it for Mares. And uh, so I've been a part of Mares uh, family since uh, one year and a half. Uh, and uh, I'm not exaggerating by uh, when I say that. Uh, is a dream for me. Uh, it's a it's a, a dream. Uh, it's it's the true now because uh, my passion is my, my job now. So uh, now, because I am a free diver, a spear fisher, competitor, I know the importance of the details uh, in our equipment, uh, and I work hard to implement them not only for the super competitors but for all. And uh, so. Here we go. Let me show you something, some equipment, some uh, some things that I, we have uh, made during this lockdown. Uh, I tried also a lot of things uh, inside my shower. Uh, it, uh, it had a very hard period, but uh, now we have something to show you directly. And uh, this night, uh, I'd like to show you some slides. Uh, and after this just session, uh, I'll show you directly uh, in person the, the equipment. So let me share the screen. Mm 
here. Can you see my screen or not? No. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, Paolo, you are seeing your screen. Okay. So you can switch, okay. You can switch to the presentation. Yes. Full screen or uh, just yeah, uh, almost, uh, almost okay. full, uh, full screen. Let's yes. see. Just a moment. You need to switch to the. Yes, yes. yes okay. it, my, my laptop is very, very slow. Okay, maybe. That's okay. Yes, okay. now it's okay. okay. Okay, so. So this night I'd like to show you a lot of things, uh, a new identity for Mars, uh, just to, to start. Uh, and after this, uh, some masks, uh, neoprene, neoprene uh, sling guns. Uh, accessories and uh, something special for free diving uh, and finally pins. The first thing is uh, our job in order to find a new logo uh, because we want to emphasize the first peak superficial but also the free diver. So we work a lot uh, with a lot of people in order to try something uh, uh, that can identify both uh, uh, in this picture, can you you can see Star Fisher and Free Diver? So our uh, uh, shoes is this one. Uh, if you look the the happening, the Free Diver at the right side, uh, you can see you can imagine uh, the hands or also a uh, gun. So in uh, our opinion, uh, this is the best representative uh, logo uh, for us. Uh, we change also pull passion, pull uh, instinct in pull passion because pull uh, instinct uh, was too much oriented to the uh, hunter, and we want to represent uh, both uh, a free diver and a starfish. So this is our new logo, and we start uh, from here. Okay, if you have some question, please don't hesitate to stop me or, or to translate in uh, Portuguese. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, we start uh, from a Tana mask uh, and the extreme mask. Uh, I, I, I'm sure that you know these two, uh, two masks because uh, for us, uh, for Mares, uh, the Tana and the XP are the best selling mask uh, in, in our life. Uh, but we choose to change the two masks uh, because, uh, just a moment, uh, my laptop is freezing. Why? Okay, the Tana mask, as you know, is an high volume seller, outstanding fit, great comfort, uh, medium uh, low inner volume. So you can use it for uh, snorkeling or for diving uh, or uh, sport fishing too. Uh, the mask has a, a wide field of vision, but uh, we want something uh, with the more aggressive uh, design and uh, with the best finishing. So. Uh, our goal was uh, maintain the same skirt characteristic because uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, uh, he has a per the perfect fit, so we want to maintain the fitting. Uh, but uh, we want to, a new, modern, attractive design. So we work uh, to find something uh, uh, that fitting at the same uh, same time, but with uh, a different uh, um, shape, uh, with a frame with uh, high value perceptions. So with the uh, uh, best finishing. Uh, uh, aspect uh, and so on. So these are our uh, two first uh, uh, option. In the left side, you can see a plastic uh, three material frame. And in the right side, uh, a mask with uh, an aluminum frame, a metal frame. So you can see uh, in the middle, in the, in the left part uh, over the nose, uh, the plastic is soft, so uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, uh, in your face uh, and uh, we can play with the color because uh, we have three different material and then the, the part over the nose uh, it seemed to a spider net so we shoot the name uh, spider just uh, uh, because we the, 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 the nose part uh, seem a uh, spider net so this is uh, the result uh, this is a spider we choose uh, three different uh, options black black 
blue and, uh, and black, and green, uh, green and, uh, and brown. The fitting is exactly the same of the old Tana, but the, the look is uh, very aggressive uh, and modern. Uh, the second one is a Spider uh, HD. The frame is uh, in aluminum, uh, a little bit heavier compared to the, the plastic one. And uh, it's, it's very, in a, maybe it's a, a little bit vintage, but uh, I like so much this uh, the combination of uh, aluminum and, uh, and silicone. The, the other two options are blue and blue and uh, silver and black. The second one is the X3. Uh, in my opinion, it is the best mask for spear fishing and free diving because of the very uh, low inner volume and very wide uh, field of vision. But uh, again, uh, the mask has uh, had a limited quality of finish uh, and uh, missing an aggressive design. So we want something with more aggressive and modern. Uh, and we try to. Uh, to understand uh, what was uh, uh, possible to do. And uh, we mix uh, uh, the Viper with X3, uh, because the Viper is a, a mask with a very, very uh, particular shape. It's very hydrodynamic. So uh, we try to improve important details, maintain the typical Viper profile. Uh, you can uh, see in the left side, uh, the shape is very hydrodynamic. Uh, the, the Viper mask. So we want to mix these two uh, masks in order to have something completely new. Uh, so the result is this one uh, with the best finishing in design, but we want something completely new. So we work a lot in order to change also other details uh, in order to have some very, something very, very aerodynamic. Uh, here you can see some uh, Google for uh, swimming uh, because of we, we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, knowledge about uh, um, pool uh, swimming uh, with head. We try to, we start to study uh, different kind of straps in order to make the mask very, very aerodynamic. Uh, so the option was uh, a lot. You can see in this mask, uh, the first two, two option. Uh, so finally, we decided to remove uh, the standard buckle in order to put something very uh, thin and uh, hydrodynamic. But uh, that is not all. As you can see, this is the result. Uh, in this uh, picture, you can see also uh, a very particular um, straps because, uh, because of uh, I am a sport fisher. Every time I don't use the um, the, the snorkel retainer, but I put my snorkel inside the strap. So uh, we invent a system to uh, retain the snorkel directly in the strap by insert uh, uh, a loop uh, in the strap. So the final result is uh, wonderful. It works perfectly underwater. You have the snorkel completely attached to your head, but uh, it seems to not, uh, to not, to not have nothing uh, uh, in your head because it's very lightweight and, uh, and useful. These are the, the, the two options, uh, green uh, with the blue back color or black black. Any question? No? So I'm going no, to show you, now. I show you directly the, the mask. So I stop the sharing, maybe, interrompi. Okay. Can you see me or not? Not. No. What do I say? Just a moment. Sorry, uh, uh, can you activate your sound, please? Can you activate your sound, uh, Paul? Uh, we are seeing you. We are seeing you. Can you hear me? Yes, and okay. we are okay. seeing you now. We are seeing okay. you Okay, and can you see me bigger or little? Big. Okay. Okay. 
from the European. Okay, can you see me? Yep, we see you. Okay, because my, my laptop I cannot see me. Okay, the first one is this one. Is the spider and blue and blue? Can you see the mask or not? Yep. Yep. Closer. It's better. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the soft part. And for the future, we can play with different color. It's very, very comfortable. And uh, if you look inside, you can see the same shape of the Tana. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. So this is the black, black. Can, can you approximate a little bit? OK. We are seeing now. OK. And uh, oh, okay. the green one, just post, post for fishing. And uh, the HD with the metal frame. Can you go, go a little, okay, down, a little down, okay, okay, okay. You are seeing? No, okay, Perfect. Okay, okay. Because I, I'm not able to see me in the screen. Yes, yes, we are seeing now, well. Okay, perfect. This is the blue one. And the last one, the matte black one. Okay, and the last one is just a prototype because I am waiting for the, for the new one. Uh, mm -hmm. We made a, a positively clear this, this one in order to uh, let you see the plastic frame inside. So you can see how a mask is made. This is the strap and you can fix here your snorkel. The straps is very, very little. It's not possible to, to move because it's very similar to the Google, but a little bit thicker and bigger. And it's perfect for, for fishing or free diving is very, very aerodynamics and very, very lightweight. And the field vision is uh, perfect. Okay. Okay, I switch again to my presentation. Okay. 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 So, you print here. I have a lot of things to, to tell you because uh, uh, because of uh, I'm an engineer. I'd like to uh, always uh, to find something very useful for uh, my sport. So uh, I'd like to show you something about the uh, perception of light waves and obviously new camo option and wetsuit and uh, our new uh, entry level explorer sport wetsuit. So. The first thing is, is uh, this one, because uh, I am uh, uh, Lawrence uh, ambassador. Uh, Lawrence uh, is a company that made uh, a sonar, as you know, I think, Navico. Uh, and uh, a colleague of mine uh, is working in Shimano, so I spoke a lot with him. Uh, I understood that uh, the fish industry invests a lot of money in scientific research because uh, uh, they spend a lot of money to uh, make uh, the perfect lures. So uh, an artificial lures have to, oh sorry, okay, has to uh, attract fish in low light condition, for instance, and uh, have to attract fish also in deep uh, water. So uh, the fish industry 
study a lot in order to find and make the perfect lure uh, to use in any condition. Uh, as you know, because of uh, all of you are uh, divers, uh, the, some colors are absorb absorbed uh, uh, immediately in the water, but uh, uh, some other colors uh, not. Uh, in these graphics, you can see uh, that some color reach uh, very deep water. But my question is, why do fish spend a lot of time uh, uh, of this uh, life uh, under, under 20 meters of, of ice if uh, the color doesn't reach the bottom? Uh, because uh, um, the fish see differently compared to, to our eyes. Uh, as you know, uh, UV radiation uh, is divided into two groups, uh, UVA, UVB, and UVC. And uh, just uh, UVA radiation uh, reach uh, uh, the bottom, reach the heart, uh, and uh, go inside the water. And uh, the research uh, discovered that fish can see ultraviolet ray. So for this reason, uh, the fishing industry studied the uh, lure in order to reflect also the UV light, because fish are able to see ultraviolet ray. So I study a lot. Uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, research in order to apply this to our wetsuit and our camouflage. But obviously, uh, we have to do exactly uh, the opposite compared to the fishing industry, because the fishing industry try to uh, make uh, very attracting the lures, but uh, we have to do the, the, the opposite to uh, make our uh, fishermen invisible, to fish, visible, invisible to the fish. So another thing uh, is the contrasted color uh, are more visible to them. So for this reason, uh, the lure, uh, especially when uh, we fish uh, uh, during the, the, with the low light condition, uh, had to be very contrasted color. So for instance, uh, uh, green uh, with uh, some uh, uh, little spot uh, black uh, and so on. So by use this information in our wetsuit, we can obtain the best camouflage by reducing contrast between colors the opposite of the lures, uh, by using particular camo pattern and reducing also the UV reflection because uh, uh, fish are able to see UV reflection. So if you use a green uh, wetsuit, uh, you are very, very visible for the fish because uh, the green light reflects a lot the UV ray. So what we discovered is that uh, uh, the color that reflects less the, the ultraviolet ray is a some more uh, intense blue, and the best is the indigo color. So we made our new wetsuit by putting a, a, a base of indigo color in order to reflect less the ultraviolet ray. This is the schematic uh, the functionality. So in the right side, you can see uh, the sunlight uh, reaching uh, an indigo base and the uh, reflecting ray are uh, very little. In the right side, uh, you can see the positive. So if you use uh, some uh, normal color, the UV ray are reflected uh, like in a mirror to the fish. So you are more visible uh, than uh, uh, compared to a color indigo in a wetsuit or, uh, or in a guns and so on. But uh, that is not... Uh, something more because uh, I worked 20 years for, uh, for the military and uh, I know the evolution of camouflage in military. And uh, in the left side, you can see the very old uh, camouflage style, uh, but in the last years, uh, the research uh, go uh, through something completely different because uh, we need to have some uh, pattern that allow us to, be, to become invisible when we go, we go far to the enemy. So here you can uh, see other, so, some other example, uh, also in the helicopters or ship, uh, the um, stealth vehicle are squared uh, and uh, they use a very uh, polygonal effect uh, also in the, in the picture. So our first uh, uh, test was those. So this is the best camouflage in the market right now. So you can uh, easily uh, find this uh, 
in Google because uh, the military now are using uh, this kind of camouflage because uh, uh, because of uh, this kind of, of camouflage reduce a lot the contrast. Uh, for instance, also the German Defense Forces use this camouflage right now. You can uh, see their website. So our final uh, design is this one. So something with the polygonal design, but by using an indigo base. So the indigo allow us to reflect less the uh, ultraviolet ray and the polygonal design reduce the contrast. So I apply exactly the opposite of fish industry in the lure. They want to attract the fish. We want to become invisible to the fish. So this is what we made. We spend a lot of time in test and finally we choose this kind of camouflage. Uh, in this slide, you can see what, uh, um, what you can see by seeing uh, our wetsuit uh, at uh, very, very near. So on meter distance, you can uh, uh, see the polygon, the polygons, but uh, if you go far, uh, three meters or more, it's not possible to see the polygons, but uh, the image disappear. Here you can see our first uh, test uh, because we want to apply this uh, camouflage for uh, all the uh, condition around the world. So for Caribbean, for do fishing and so on, but finally we choose uh, uh, just to, to style. So our first uh, design was the two, new, calimo, new polygon camo, one uh, in black, but uh, also the black is over an indigo base. So if you look uh, uh, the new merge uh, uh, under the sun ray, you can see some uh, indigo reflex. And in the right side, uh, you have the polygon. When uh, we mixed the, uh, the bottom color, but uh, with the indigo base again. So here are some uh, technical details about uh, the merge. Uh, I think you, you know the, the old merge, but I move uh, the um, queen pleat, the sandwich material in different position uh, because uh, because I, uh, I was a free diver, I am a free diver, so I know the importance of uh, the hydrodynamic. So I moved the smooth skin outside uh, in order to be more hydrodynamic, uh, and also in order to be faster in swimming. So in the jacket, uh, I move uh, uh, over the, the arms, the smooth skin, and in the, in the, in the legs, uh, I move uh, upper in order to swim fastly when I, I swim in the surface. Uh, in the pants, uh, I put a water stop uh, uh, strip in order to prevent water flux inside. So the open cell uh, touch perfectly your pants and no water come inside uh, during the winter. And I put a, a stretch material below in order to facilitate the abdominal, abdominal brushing. And uh, so, this is the result. We designed also a new chin, chin shape and uh, I put the Velcro instead of the pins uh, because in my experience uh, it is, is uh, more easier uh, to fix, uh, to set uh, the closure. So you can uh, micro adjust uh, the jacket uh, instead of using the pin. Questions? Clear? Okay. Everything clear till now. Everything clear till now. Okay. So uh, this is uh, the polygon one. Uh, we made three models: uh, one three millimeters, one five millimeters, and uh, the biggest one is uh, with a varied thickness. Uh, I try to we try to make a, a wetsuit for the winter for the cold water, but. Uh, uh, not uh, only for competitors, but uh, for all people. Uh, and uh, I put the thick materials uh, only when uh, you need, uh, in order to not, uh, not to be too much uh, blocked to the wetsuit. So I put in the A panel eight millimeters, uh, fabric outside, uh, line outside, inside open cell, and uh, in, the, in the arm, six and half, also in the cap. Uh, again, the Velcro closure, uh, the pants are six uh, uh, millimeter and a half in order to, to allow you not to put too much weight uh, for fishing. 
the material is very soft, uh, so the wetsuit uh, perfect for uh, also for your place. That is the result. Uh, the paint to the light uh, and uh, the camouflage change completely the, the color. Uh, I put also in this one uh, a water stopper lips uh, on the on the chest in order to prevent water flux. And uh, we redesigned completely the chin, so it's not possible to uh, to lose the chin now. And uh, here I made a video underwater. So uh, Sylvester, if you want to play the video, you can uh, directly see the wet soup uh, underwater. I stop uh, my sharing. Okay, stop your sharing and I'll share it here, if it is. Yes. Okay. okay. Perfect. So now uh, I'm sharing my, desk, my desktop. Okay, I think. So now you are seeing the, the video, but it's not moving yet. Okay, you are seeing the video. Yes. Okay, so I'll play moving. Okay. I reach uh, 17 meters of depth. It's a little bit faster than uh, normal, but uh, it's okay. It, this video is just to, to let uh, you understand uh, uh, what you see when you see very near or uh, when you move uh, far your hand. The polygon, you are, now you are seeing the polygon. But uh, if you go far with your arm, the polygons disappear. Okay. Yeah. Should I pass it again or is no. it? Uh, okay. So now you have the control again. Okay, what do you see? My, my screen uh, bigger or, or little? Bigger? No. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. yes, we are, you are, we are seeing you uh, with the mask and with the Okay, phone. okay. Is, is the, my presentation is big or little? For sure. No, it's, it's big, it's big. Okay, it's big. so uh, this is the result. And uh, in the picture, uh, I am the. The model okay so the last one is uh, an entry level wetsuit double lined uh, mares explorer sport uh, we changed the color of the protection in silver and uh, we remove the long john because of uh, uh, the cut paint uh, the cut in the paint allow you to breath uh, uh, easily and uh, we put also a rear side uh, like in the north face jacket the, our new logo Okay, so now I'd like to show you directly the products and I stop the sharing. Maybe. Oop. Okay, can you see me? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Just a moment. Okay. This is the first one with the polygon with the vertical closure. Can you see? I'm yeah, can you get a little closer? Yep. Yes. This is the vertical closure. The vertical is double inside. So in order to prevent uh, accidentally opening. Okay, so this is the vertical closure. This is the, the loading pad, five millimeters uh, thickness inside, more uh, your suit. Soft edge around the ankle, wrist, uh, and face. Okay, this is a jacket. And these are the pants with the water stop bands here. 
So this part can prevent water flux because the open cell is touched directly with the smooth material. You have some protection here and again, stop edge. In the three millimeters version, we don't have the, the band because of the, uh, the, ten, the, the temperature of the water, so we don't need that. This is the merger. Here we have the sandwich material. In order to be faster when you go deeper, and when you you are on a boat, uh, this part uh, allow you to be more uh, hot. Again, uh, Velcro, soft border. Okay. And this is the pant with the water, water stop band. And this part is very comfortable in order to allow you uh, the breathing easily, uh, abdominal breathing. This part of in smooth skin in order to be faster when you swim in the sick face and also when you reach the deep. And uh, that is all. Okay, this is the last one. It's a new Explorer Sport with a five millimeters inside with a silver color. Double lining, but comfortable, very stretch, and uh, undestroyable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any question? Uh, not till now. No. Okay. Think all people is happy, so you can continue. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay. Uh, just one thing. Just one thing. Just one thing. Uh, one question. Can you tell us more about the new print use it in the cable suite? In there? Cable? In the ca camo. Camo suite. Camo suite. Uh, what would you, would you like to say? To know? Uh, I don't know. The, the only question that I have it here, Miguel Pereira, uh, if you want to say it, everything more, uh, the type of neoprene. Okay, no. It's, it's... Eva Sheiko. 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 Sheiko material. Okay. Okay. Thank you too. Okay, I switch again. So, uh, uh, <laughs> there are comments here. Also, need you need to have, uh, you know, a scene, a scene under the water. Okay, uh, to have to not have the the, the waves of movement uh, uh, under the water because the the fish is smart, and to be invisible uh, will not be uh, uh, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not... Okay. Okay, let me share my screen again. Okay. Can you see my screen? Eh? Yep. Okay, perfect. So, the ring answer. <clears throat> Okay, when uh, I come in uh, Mars, uh, I find uh, uh, an old project uh, and uh, I try to, um, to add some details uh, uh, for my experience. Uh, and this is the project. Uh, and uh, here you can see, for instance, the muzzle. Uh, in the left side, uh, uh, you can see the first version. Uh, but I, I, I want to insert some improvement. So I add, uh, we had some uh, wings, uh, the red ones, uh, in order to uh, optimize uh, the position of the slings. So by adding these wings, uh, we uh, can have uh, uh, the slings very uh, parallel with the barrel, uh, so uh, the shaft will be very uh, fast compared to the older, uh, older version. Uh, so again, Yes, sorry. We have a question. Okay, can you tell me the max pressure in kilograms of the trigger mechanism? Uh, I have to check. 
but uh, we tried to load a lot of things uh, and it's very sensitive the trigger the trigger mechanism uh, we have a, a machine uh, in our laboratories uh, that allow us to understand uh, uh, inside uh, without shot with the real shaft uh, the performance uh, but uh, now i don't remember the, the kilograms but uh, you can load the very with a lot of things without any problems is uh, the trigger mechanism is very sensitive but uh, not dangerous uh, you can load uh, two or three things without any problems okay thank you this is the reloader and the first version is in the, in the, is in the upper part uh, and we decided to insert uh, uh, an all and now the, the zing dancer is ready uh, to put uh, some uh, roller muzzle because you have uh, the possibility to connect the slings also in the bottom side. The sling gun will come uh, direct with the uh, embedded and uh, horizontal reel with friction. The friction is uh, very useful uh, with the micro regulation, high capacity and line is included. So when you buy our uh, our guns uh, will come uh, directly with the uh, uh, obviously shaft links uh, and reel uh, with the line inside. Here you can see our uh, uh, evolution about uh, our handle. Uh, so the first version was uh, a little bit bigger, but uh, we let try a lot of see a lot of people uh, use this kind of handle, and finally we decide to uh, reduce a little bit the size. So. Uh, finally, here you can see our drilling guns. We start with uh, uh, this measure, so 155, 175, 190, 100, and 115. Uh, the shaft will be six and a half, and then things in the 55, 75, and 90 will be uh, 17 uh, diameters, uh, mono sling, one slings, and in the, the longer. Uh, version, we will use uh, double slings, uh, uh, 14 diameter. Okay, so the result, this one, uh, our handle is uh, in a, a sort of uh, yellow lime in order to be more visible if uh, you uh, lose the, uh, the sling gun or uh, you move, you, you, you put the, your guns uh, at the bottom, but uh, when you uh, you have your sling guns in your hand, uh, all of this is covered by your hand, so uh, any fish uh, can see the yellow. And uh, we put in yellow also uh, the real uh, um, manopla, I don't know in English, uh, because uh, immediately you can uh, see how to change the friction in your reel. And uh, we uh, make also a new color for the zinks. Uh, also, the zinks are in indigo, so there will be reflection reduced also for your uh, for your sling gun. Because if you have a black or camo, or camo sling, uh, sling gun with uh, uh, gold or uh, green slings, uh, is is uh, like to have uh, some laser uh, sword in your hand. So. We have to camouflage also this leaves. Uh, another feature is that you can uh, easily uh, change the position of the uh, line releaser. So if you would like to put uh, in the right side, uh, you can uh, easily unscrew uh, with the, your screwdriver and uh, put in the other side uh, the line releaser. Okay, I have a question here. Yes. Uh, roller guns and inverter roller guns you will have we don't have much, we are thinking uh, about this, uh, but if you want uh, with this uh, drilling gun, you can easily uh, manage a uh, roller or inverter roller muzzle. So you can modify the, the guns uh, because we have the, uh, the hook uh, bottom side uh, that allow you to fix the slings uh, in the bottom. So you can easily transform the guns in roller or inverter roller guns. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now I show you directly the, the guns. The gun. Okay. Okay. Is this the little one? Can you see me? 
Yes? Okay. This is a 55 uh, with only one links uh, in the color. The line is uh, 50 meters, uh, diameter uh, 1.7. Here you have uh, uh, the security pin uh, with the lock design here. It's uh, very easy to understand how to put the security lock. Uh, and uh, if you press uh, on the other side, uh, you see a little bit uh, different uh, in your end. It's very easy to put uh, or uh, remove the security lock. Uh, you can remove uh, the line releaser by using the screw and put this one in the other side, very easy. And uh, the handle is uh, with uh, a lot of grip. And the trigger mechanism is very high and uh, straight with the muzzle, so the recoil is zero. It's very press, very uh, preciso. You see, it's Gianni preciso. Precise. Very precise. And uh, with the, these links, these uh, wings, you can have uh, a perfect position of these links uh, on your barrel. Look. And this is uh, the hook when you can easily insert uh, some slings uh, when you use uh, the roller muzzle or inverter roller muzzle. Okay. So I have more things here. Uh, we have a suggestion that uh, I think we should make we should make a white point in the back of the wetsuit just for security. A white point, eh? Yep. Yes, but uh, you can easily see the security lock because we designed uh, um, directly on the bottom of the security lock. It's a, it's a yellow in order to, to easily understand if you, where is the security lock. I understand that or not? Yes, I think I, I think so. Uh, okay, uh, perhaps. Okay, yes, I think. Uh, and uh, when we we have a gun without any lock system, uh, we, when we have a gun without any lock system, cause is u useless. No, oh, we have the security lock. Usually, all fisher remove the security lock after buying the guns. Always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's very easy to understand if you put or not the security. So uh, by using this system, uh, you can easily maintain the, the, the pin uh, without any problem with the fish. But uh, if you want to, you can remove that. Uh. Okay. We don't. Secu uh, okay, the comment is security. But, uh, it's better to, to not remove uh, because, they were, because of the warranty. But uh, if, if you want to, you can also remove the, the pin. Okay, uh, the comment is security means not load, it's safer. It's safer. Why? I don't know. I can, I can, I can, I can uh, pass the, 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 the sound to, uh, to Ugu. Ugu, can you explain why it's safer? Not load can shoot. Not load, no, it's not possible. <laughs> not load can shoot. Obviously. Yep. I don't know. It's a joke. No, no, no. Can you hear me? Uh, uh, no, it's too high. You have to talk more loud. OK. Uh, can you hear me? Much yep. Better? OK, better, a little better. Uh, I mean, uh, security means not loaded with the, the power slings, because some spear fishers uh, sometimes use the locker and seems that they are uh, safety with that. But uh, I just see too many locks going down for something and the, the gun shoot and uh, sometimes hit uh, some persons. Okay, I understand. Uh, so I don't know why uh, everybody continues to make lock systems because they are not so much secure. I think it's better you don't have uh, any security. So I take mines too because of that. So no one can lock. So if they come to the boat or to the shore, they have to take out the, the power bands. 
So it's uh, it's because of that I say that uh, not loaded, you cannot shoot anyone. Okay, I, I think that, uh, okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I think we have, a, um, we need that, we, we must to put the security lock uh, for uh, our law. But uh, I understand what you, what you mean. Uh, we put the security lock uh, because you have to insert the security, the security when you load and when you uh, unload the guns. But uh, when you put your, um, your sling gun on the boat, you have to, to remove the slings, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Because uh, you have to think also not to super superficial, but also a, a beginner. For a beginner, uh, the security lock uh, is, uh, is mandatory. Okay. Si. Si. Ah, ti vede. Don't trust this guy, eh? <laughs> Don't trust, no, no. <laughs> okay. No, okay. Accessories. Just a moment. I know the presentation is a little bit boring, but uh, it will be better in person. No, it's not boring. It's not boring. No. <laughs> All people. <laughs> okay. Just a moment. Uh, okay. Okay. Accessories, we are uh, close to them. Uh, we spend some time also to invent a new bag line, a new knife line, a new finisher, and a new torch. So uh, this is the, the gun bag. Uh, this gun bag allow us to store up to six guns because inside we have to Velcro strip, and we can uh, insert the guns uh, in different position. Uh, the the bag is uh, allowed to store uh, up to uh, 120 centimeters uh, uh, length guns, and uh, we have uh, at the bottom also an eyelet to uh, let the water go outside, and we have also a pocket, waterproof pocket in order to store. Uh, uh, our phone uh, or uh, wallet and so on. And uh, the most important things uh, is that uh, I put uh, the round zip, uh, not in metal, but in plastic. Also the cursor is in plastic because uh, uh, always uh, when I bought in my past uh, uh, um, waterproof bag, uh, after two months, uh, I was not able to open the, the, the bag because of the rust uh, in the cursor. So I put mm -hmm. the cursor in plastic. This is the second one. Uh, again, the cursor in, in, is in plastic. This is uh, uh, to store uh, from two to four uh, very long pins. We have uh, a water retainer inside, uh, beside. Uh, the very big uh, waterproof external compartment uh, allow you to put uh, your uh, wetsuit after diving uh, or uh, your uh, something uh, you want to, to, to make uh, in a different compartment. And you have also a handle in order to transport better. And the um, shoulder, shoulder strap are very ergonomic. Uh, I studied this, um, this bag in order to transport all uh, equipment, uh, also in uh, your motorcycle, because uh, the, the straps are connected in order to sit down in a bicycle or in a motorcycle. Uh, obviously, with uh, an 80 millimeters wetsuit, uh, all is uh, very compressed, but uh, you can store uh, easily in uh, one or two guns, uh, two things inside, uh, one wetsuit, uh, one uh, towel, 
and uh, your wallet uh, in a waterproof pocket. Uh, and uh, after diving, you can easily uh, separate uh, your uh, towel from uh, your wetsuit uh, after diving. Uh, this is the backpack. Uh, the backpack uh, um, allow you to put some things uh, uh, inside, uh, and uh, we have again a, a guns retainer. Uh, but the most important thing uh, is uh, the rear, rear butter um, waterproof zip because uh, a lot of time uh, when I use the, the to use this backpack uh, in my career. Uh, Every, every time I lose something in the bottom and every time you have to, uh, to search inside the, the, the backpack something. So by using this zip, you can easily have an access to the bottom. And in a couple of minutes, you can find something you lose before. Um, you have also a very large Velcro front pocket in order to store your mask, for instance. And in the upper side, in the rear, we have a waterproof pocket in order to store your phone or your key, your key or your wallet. And inside, we have a double compartment in order to store your wetsuit after diving. I show you this compartment at the end of the presentation. This is the duffel. The duffel has a very big uh, bag. The bag uh, has some uh, wheel, uh, like a trolley, but it is a, a soft uh, bag. So you can easily store the bag in, inside your, um, inside your, your house. Uh, but uh, if you need to transport a lot of uh, equipment, uh, you can store a lot of things inside. It's possible also to put uh, in the bottom uh, uh, some weight uh, or uh, very long things, uh, and in the bottom uh, I put some uh, velcro in order to fix uh, things uh, or weight uh, and uh, have more stability in your bag uh, when you transport something. Um, the strap, uh, the shoulder strap are uh, very ergonomic, uh, and uh, you can easily remove uh, the straps uh, when you go, for instance, uh, on a plane, uh, in order to not uh, uh, destroy something uh, in the, the room. Uh, so, this is dimensions, the, the dimensions of the, of the duffel, uh, I only saw 140 liters uh, is, yes. is the only, is the only available, yes? Yes. Okay. But it's very, very, very big. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the entry level one. Uh, it's possible to store two uh, very long things. Uh, we have an external mesh pocket uh, in order to store uh, your mask. And then in the bottom side, we have again uh, some uh, mesh uh, fabric in order to let the water go outside. And uh, there is only one uh, sugar strap adjustable. And uh, it's very lightweight and uh, robust. OK, I show you directly the, uh, the bags. Sorry. Oh, no, I could tell you. OK. This is the backpack. This is the very large pocket. We are side. We have the mm -hmm. The waterproof zip here, the elastic strap in order to fix the guns inside, and inside have a double compartment. Can you see? Yeah, okay, you see. You can put your uh, your wetsuit here, separate by the your wall or your uh, something. Uh, would like to, to take a dry. Yeah, so you don't need more uh, than one bag uh, because uh, usually you have to take with you two bags uh, in order to, to store your uh, wetsuit after diving. But with the, by using these uh, bags, uh, you need only one because you can store the wetsuit inside without uh, without uh, include uh, any other thing inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and for close, we hold and attach here. We have also an handle here. Okay, also this uh, shoulder strap can be removed. Is that one that can you use it in, in a motor? No, you, you can, but uh, the, one, the one for the motor is a little bit uh, little. This is a Yes, and dry pin bags. This is what, uh, what I use in a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. You can easily enlarge this side if you need. And inside, you can store easily your wet suit after driving. Here, you can put your water. And here, you can fix your gun, if you, if you want. And here, you can put your phone. The cursor is very big, but in plastic, in order to avoid the rust. And you can open the bags to the bottle, to the bottle in order to easily have an access inside uh, and put your things uh, and what you want. Mm -hmm. This is the inexpensive one with the most uh, mesh pocket, mono strap. And allow you to insert a lot of pins at the inside. You have a pocket here in order to fix your blades and make it more stable the rest. Okay. The last one. Oh. With the gun bag. Here we have the waterproof uh, pocket, very large. The inlet uh, in order to uh, make uh, some ventilation inside. The bottom uh, is very hard in order to prevent uh, all uh, from the shaft. And uh, inside, uh, we have the two vehicles, two vehicles in order to fix uh, perfectly your guns uh, and avoid uh, some uh, uh, contact between the uh, guns uh, inside when you when you work, for instance. So if you have some uh, wood uh, drilling guns, uh, you can prevent uh, some scratch because you can fix uh, perfectly the guns inside. Do you have the duffel bag also? Yes, yes, just a moment. Okay. And uh, the last... Uh, Characteristic is that uh, if you use uh, short uh, guns, uh, you can easily reduce uh, the length uh, by folding uh, the upper part uh, and use this uh, elastic uh, ring in order to fix uh, the upper part. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, just a moment, uh, I'm looking for the duffel. Here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can transport also your wife uh, inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and all the family. <laughs> you can close uh, by folding again. Uh, but uh, one, uh, 140 is when you fold completely, but you can store uh, more than 140 liters. So. Once all the, you can fix it on the both sides. You have to close it by using a cross 
Lazura. Okay. And uh, go. Okay. I'll show you the inside the compartment. Inside it, it's a little bit difficult to show you, but uh, inside we have uh, these two Velcro in order to fix uh, something. You can easily put also a very long pin. Look, this is very, very long. You can fix uh, the pins uh, to the bottom and then send it uh, by using a plane. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have the dimensions here because they are asking for the dimensions, okay? So the dimensions, so the dimensions são um, 100 por 33 por 65. So 100 by 33 by 65, 65. Yep. Okay. And uh, uh, about, about the, um, the weight, okay? Wait. Uh, yes. It's, the, not too, uh, it's not too heavy. It's uh, two, two, two dot three. 2.3 kilograms, it's yep. possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Dois kilos e 300 grams. Okay, I switch again uh, to my presentation. Okay, can you, can you see the... Yeah, okay, it's good. good, it's good. Okay. 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 So uh, nice. Uh, you can see took knife uh, a little bit strange because uh, in my uh, fishing career I lost a thousand knife uh, on the bottom. Uh, every time uh, I catch some fish uh, with a lot of enthusiasm, I lost my my, my knee. So uh, I try to with the, our laboratory to find a, a shape uh, allow us uh, to not lost. Uh, uh, every time uh, any. So by using this knife, uh, you can easily have your finger free by putting in your, uh, in your finger the hole. So you can uh, easily make something uh, different uh, and uh, by not, not losing your, uh, your knife because uh, you fix it in your, in your finger. Uh, you can also uh, use this one to sh as a shaft releaser and uh, we have two different uh, lengths, uh, one for belt, a one for uh, your arm. Uh, this is the new version about uh, our bestseller uh, snake. Uh, it's very big. Uh, it's not my favorite one, uh, but uh, a lot of people uh, like this uh, very vintage uh, uh, shark uh, knife. So <laughs> we put inside uh, uh, a new shaft releaser, but uh, the shape is, uh, is very similar to the older one. And uh, this is a new tool. This is a chapter laser, and uh, uh, in Italy we use this uh, to kill the fish uh, and to store the fish uh, in your belt. Uh, this is a, this is the, the finisher, but uh, we put uh, uh, a feature the top uh, the top position, so you can easily use this one uh, as a chapter laser and chapter rectifier. Okay, this is the last uh, accessories. This is the, our new torch. Uh, I stole this by the diving department. Uh, it's very powerful. Uh, we have the possibility to, to recharge directly uh, the battery by putting a USB cable uh, in the bottom part. Uh, it's very compact, uh, indigo color, rechargeable, and uh, we have also a silicone strap 
uh, very com com comfortable. And the button has uh, only two position uh, on and off. Uh, and uh, if the battery is very, uh, is, is, uh, is the top level, the LED will be green. If the power, uh, if the battery uh, will be recharged, the LED will be red. So now I show you directly this. So, 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 so the main difference uh, from the scuba one is that the, the only has two positions in the, in the switch. Correct. Okay. Yeah, and also the strap, also the strap, silicone strap. Ah, okay. And uh, the the LED is new. Is a little bit power powerful compared to the diving one. Okay. Okay, I show I I stop the presentation. I, I show you directly the the knife, the knife, and then torch. Okay. Okay. We start with the older one. Knife two dot zero. We have the shaft releaser here. And you can you can kill also an elephant. <laughs> and then the water elephant. <laughs> this is the, the longer one for the bath. Very easy. Your hands are free to make something. Mm -hmm. And you it's not possible to lose the, the knife. And you can also use uh, if you want to kill uh, someone. Okay. <laughs> and the shorter one, you can fix easily in your arm. It's uh, elastic, elastic, very easy to put in your arm. And with the one finger, very useful and uh, very inexpensive. Okay. And this is the, the finisher. You can store something, some shards in your bed, some uh, what you want. Okay. Last one. New torch. This is the box. USB cable, some uh, O-ring uh, as, uh, as a replaceable item and uh, your torch. This is silicone, uh, very easy to, and then with the, the right sides uh, to take in your hand when you go fishing. Uh, is uh, quite, uh, is the time to, to recharge it again because it is uh, orange. After orange will be will be red and then stop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at the at the end of uh, my office. Is that very concentrated? It's, it's twelve degrees. Twelve degrees. Yep. Say, son dos graus. O bim son dos graus. <clears throat> okay. Free diving. So, some wetsuit uh, for men and a girl. So uh, we uh, improve some uh, new wetsuit for free diving uh, in open water and also for the training in the pool. Uh, the first one, <coughs> sorry, is made by uh, ultra stretch, smooth skin outside, lining outside in three millimeters. Uh, we have the 
again the vehicle strap in order to let the people to have a micro regulation for the jacket. We redesigned the shape, the chin shape, and we have two models, one for men and one for girl, for lady. Uh, this is the, the men version, the model. Uh, I am the model, but uh, the photographer changed my face. I don't know why. Uh, so it's very, very comfortable, very, very stretchable. Uh, the pants uh, allow you to breath easily uh, with your abdomen. The, the chin shape is perfect. Uh, and uh, it is uh, very robust because uh, you have a lining inside. The color of the line inside is silver as the logo outside. This is the girl version. Uh, inside, uh, the lining has the same color of the, of the logos. Uh, and uh, we put uh, the seal color in order to protect uh, inside, uh, avoid the tools to destroy the, the wetsuit uh, by pulling some, uh, some line. For the swimming pool, we made two uh, different uh, steamer. Uh, we work in order to not to have something very expensive uh, as the previous version. Uh, so uh, we redesign the neck uh, closure in order to use the color you would like, want to uh, to do some performance in swimming pool, but you can uh, easily fold. Uh, uh, the neck closure in order to prevent water fox inside. So it works very, very well uh, in swimming pool also if you swim very fast. And uh, the material is two millimeters, uh, smooth skin, uh, lining blind stitch. The water uh, is completely blocked outside. So um, do it to the thickness, uh, um, the blind stitching. Uh, doesn't allow to put inside the, to go inside the water. This is the result. The main version has a yellow lime, yellow color, and uh, uh, the girl one is better. Uh, is a pink uh, in color. Okay. Again, I show you. I show you the wet the wetsuit. This is the prism man, three millimeters silver with the velcro closure. Very, very, very comfortable, very stretchable. It's not possible to break it because uh, it's lining inside with, with lycra. The chin is perfect. And the design is beautiful. This is the ready version. And these are the steamer. The main version, very, very comfortable. And this is the girl version. I don't know why, why is the girl version because I like it to me very much, you know? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Me too, me too. <laughs> <laughs> also, the man is good, right? Yep. <laughs> allora. Just a moment. Condividi.
The last category. Let me see if I have any question. Okay, but no question. No. Just a second. Okay. Fins. Okay. I'd like to, to tell you something about the Marist Technical Heritage because we, <laughs> we have a lot of uh, technical specification. And uh, after I, I show you new Razor uh, camouflage and the new X wing uh, line to pockets and blades. Okay, here you can see our uh, things in line. Uh, so we maintain ra razor apnea, matrix, uh, and some uh, blades uh, in the polypropylene, and uh, also for training of anti power, which are our uh, best selling reward. Uh, but uh, here you can see uh, the specification about our uh, supplier in Italy. We made a very technical. Uh, uh, raw material, material, so pre-pregnated carbon fiberglass uh, with uh, epoxy resin. We have uh, a particular technology that allows us to have uh, very high pressure, so our blades are unbreakable, and uh, we can have variable thickness, and we can also make a special design uh, if you want. Uh, we can also uh, put some picture uh, on uh, our fiberglass blades. Uh, furthermore, uh, we make also a new mold that allow us to reach uh, an inclination uh, about uh, 30 degrees. May I say hello to these guys? Okay. Hello, hello, Johnny. Hello. No, guys, <laughs> I have to go home. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a pity. Let me to go. Bye. Take care. <laughs> okay. It was uh, Johnny Thomas that uh, say hello to you. Okay. And uh, this is the new Razor Illusion in fiberglass with a new polygon camouflage. Uh, the new, uh, new feature are that we paint both sides uh, in order to prevent uh, uh, problems with the sun ray. And we are able to reach 26 degree in inclination because of the uh, foot pockets. And uh, the design in the waters is a uh, water. And uh, here you can see our new foot pockets after uh, four years. Uh, finally, we have uh, the result. Uh, these foot pockets is uh, incredible, and uh, it, is, uh, it is the lighter foot pockets in the world uh, because in uh, 32, 33 sides. Uh, the, the weight is at 20 and 200 grams and 70. So it's very, very lightweight. Uh, we use two material in order to have a very a lot of comfort inside, but you can uh, transmit uh, uh, your power by using the, uh, gray, the light gray uh, part. Uh, we have no ribs in order to emphasize uh, the technical characteristic of our blades. Uh, if we use uh, these two pockets, uh, our mold uh, allow us to reach 30 degrees. Uh, uh, Paul, just to yes. say that was tested. So I'll say it in Portuguese. Uh, um, este novo, este novo foi testado em, em muitos lados, inclusive também nos Açores. Nós tivemos realmente uma, uma pessoa nos Açores um, também fez o, o teste ao, a este novo, este novo pack. Can you continue, please? Okay. Uh, here you can see our polypropylene blades. Uh, we have a new mold, and uh, the black one is the medium one. The blue one is oriented to our free divers and is uh, softer. It's fantastic because uh, we have some uh, water rail just near to the to the end of the blades, and uh, uh, 
the waterproofs are uh, are perfect. So the blades uh, is very similar to uh, fiberglass one, uh, but is in plastic. Here you can see the cover one. Uh, the length is 8060. We measure the length from the fixing set to the end of the blade. The inclination is 30 degree, and we have a soft or medium. It's a mix in fiberglass and carbon. And here we have something special for blue fishing or for free diving. Uh, polygon design in blue. So if you go free diving, uh, your body for, can easily understand where you are anyway, any, any time. Soft and medium also here. And uh, the last one is the short one, uh, just for uh, not so tall people or for girls. Uh, fiberglass is a 10 centimeters uh, uh, shorter with the 30 degree inclination and uh, the strength is, is medium. Okay, this is a, a resume table uh, where you can see all the technical details. And uh, we re finally reach the end. So the end. <laughs> the, the end. end. Okay. The <laughs> end. I show directly the, the foot pockets and the, the blades. Okay. 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 This is the the foot pocket. This is the 42, 43. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, this is the carbon one. You can see some scratch because I use this one uh, for fishing. The soft. Fiberglass. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. This is the razor. This is the, the softer one. Mm -hmm. The last one is the black one, the medium one. Okay. 30 degree. Okay. That is all. Which, which, uh, uh, I have some questions here. Sure. Okay. So, uh, are these, these, these new foot pockets still compatible with most blades? Yes, no problem. You can easily fix the pocket with a, a lot of things in, uh, from our supplier, for other suppliers. Uh, the only thing to do is uh, to put uh, eventually some, some uh, glue here because uh, we put a water reel very long here. No? But uh, if you mm. don't have this water reel, you can uh, easily fix it by putting some uh, glue here. The whole the fixing set is standard. So one question is, which sizes are produced? Produced? I think this is because we we invest, we, we invest a lot in our molds. So uh, we have uh, five sizes: uh, 36, 37, uh, 
38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46, 47. Mm -hmm. So we cover uh, all sizes, from the, the children to the giants. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> Is it possible to use a razor matrix weight on the X-wing foot pockets? It's possible. But you have to add uh, uh, some glue or water in. Okay. So I have one question here, but uh, it's okay. Let me see. Okay, is it now? Now is a question not related with the uh, with the uh, with the um, with the fins. I don't know if there are more. Okay, let me see. Okay, no, I think we don't have more. So I have one question here. Since since the okay, since the, since some while ago that is okay. In the end of the presentation, just to not disturb. I would like to know if Mars will have some gear to do blue water spear fishing, like float lines, bunches, or rigid boys. I'm working on it. You have to okay. wait. So it's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is good to know. <laughs> I think we answered that. Okay. So I don't know if some. Você sabe mais alguém quer fazer alguma questão? Okay. I think we don't have more questions. So, oh, thank, uh, you very much. thank you very much. Thank okay. Uh, eu agradeço a todos a presença de todos. Nós temos agora aqui uma vamos ter aqui uma segunda parte desta apresentação que é um pouco reservada. Vai ser reservada essencialmente para os nossos revendedores, ok? Que querem colocar essencialmente questões comerciais do ponto de vista de revenda. Também já não temos muito tempo mas pelo menos do tempo uh, que temos disponível, ok, vamos então dar aqui espaço a que realmente aos revendedores da, da Mars possam colocar uh, questões diretamente quer ao Paulo, quer uh, ao Mark, também com, com aqui o, o suporte. E portanto, basicamente só quero agradecer a presença de todos uh, os que estiveram aqui e, e desejar realmente um bom jantar e uma, e uma boa noite, ok? Eu vou realmente até terminar aqui a apresentação ao vivo que nós estamos a ter no Facebook, e então vamos então dar espaço essencialmente uh, àqueles que na parte de revenda. Já agora, eu gostaria de saber o seguinte, vocês, um, naqueles que estão aqui da parte de revenda, se vocês clicarem no botão participantes, participantes, ok, vai-vos aparecer a possibilidade de com o um botãozinho verde, uh, de responder com o um botãozinho verde, uh, aqueles que querem realmente uh, participar. Ok, portanto... Já agora, aqueles que quiserem continuar, por favor, com o botãozinho verde, cliquem no botão participantes e depois tem realmente um botãozinho verde para eu saber que querem continuar. Só so, tudo a... Ok. All the ones that want to continue for the meeting with, uh, with the dealers, reserved for the dealers, please go to the participants button and you have a green button that you can click for me to know that you want to participate. Okay, so todos aqueles que realmente Eu tinha, aqui alguns, eu tinha aqui alguns verdinhos, mas já desapareceram, não sei se... Uh... Ok, sim senhora, mantenham os verdes só para eu saber, já agora toda a gente que me diga que eu clique então com o verde, para que eu possa saber aqueles que quiserem continuar.